Cooper. Oh, I'm cute. I am so cute. I am so cute. I am a baby. I am a baby. Oz. Yeah. <laughs> I love the noise that he makes when he yells. <laughs> been officially dropped off and this is our first time really leaving him and I was really sad it was one of those things where you drop your kid off at like kindergarten and sad but he's gonna have a fun time I really like the place it's called Rover it's a dog daycare boarding and spa not sure if they're gonna do his nails or not while he's there but maybe he'll come back feeling as refreshed as we will as we're going to shred the motherfucking slopes this weekend I'm trying to use the word busy less. I don't like the word busy. And my friend Sunny Leonard Uzi, by the way, I just did a YouTube video on her channel all about how to grow your Instagram and my four C's, which are the four hacks that I have to growing your Instagram on her YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. But um, she made an Instagram post today saying that she's replacing the word busy with demanding. So I would say I've created a demanding week for myself with my business this week. Um, and yesterday I had podcasts all day from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. <laughs> all day. And it's just, it's been really great, trust me. But today I had meetings, or I was on my computer from 7 a.m. and then I just finished working. Like I've been working in the car for the last like three hours. So sometimes I put a little too much on my own plate. Sometimes I add things and I keep adding them and I, I think that I do a decent job at minimizing the things that aren't really necessary to put on my plate, but you know, sometimes we, we can't do that every single time, but I've been a little backed up with podcasts. So again, if you guys haven't listened to the podcast, we have a ton of awesome guests coming on. So yesterday I interviewed Val from Dancing with the Stars, if any of you guys watch Dancing with the Stars. Um, I also did my 100th episode celebration episode where I'm doing a giveaway, 30 minute phone call with me. So make sure you guys listen to that episode so you can enter the giveaway. And I also interviewed the founder of Quest Nutrition the other day, the co-founder, the wife, Lisa. Um, it's Lisa and Tom, their husband and wife duo. I talked to her all about her relationship, which is amazing. Super badass relationship, power couple. Who else did I interview? Steve Weatherford, NFL player. So, you know, you guys gotta listen to the podcast. If you have not gotten on the podcast train yet, listen to it. Either way, I'm going to close my eyes for a little while, listen to some TED Talks. We have another hour and a half drive, and I will catch you guys at the mountain. Reporting in from the top, Mammoth Mountain. It is 60 to 80 mile per hour winds, and we are officially heading back down on the gondola because your girl is afraid of fucking heights, and I'm terrified right now, but it's beautiful. Anybody who knows me, I go on vacation, and I do things for the views, not necessarily for food or adrenaline or adventure and as, as much as I love adventuring, safely adventuring is my favorite. So we're gonna go on some nice relaxing greens and blues, go down to the bottom, but we really wanted to see the view from the top in here. So here it is. fucking air right now. We could die at any second. <laughs> we could not die at any second. Yes, we could. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like the biggest scaredy cat. All right, guys, we're officially done at Mammoth. And now we're headed to the hot springs, which I've never been to before. But apparently there are holes in the ground that are almost like hot tubs. So we're going to try it 
and we're just surrounded by these beautiful mountains. Okay. Wow. Wow. What is up guys? So I'm back here in Los Angeles and I'm so excited to be home back in the warmth. Mammoth was so freaking beautiful, but it was chilly AF and I loved Loved skiing again. It was so funny. Brian skied for the first time on Sunday. He's a snowboarder. He snowboarded on Saturday. Skied for the first time on Sunday. Go watch his video. But he ended up being better than me immediately. And I was like, okay. Anyways, so I'm back home and I just wanted to tell you guys, I don't think I told you guys in this video yet, but when I was on the mountain, I got this crazy like mountain anxiety. I would look down and it would be really steep, even if it was just a blue, not even a blue diamond. Most of the blues on that mountain were just difficult. And I would look down at it and even, you know, on the chair lifts, I was just like, holy shit, holy shit, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and it reminded me, how, you know, I, I got over it, I am safe, I'm here now, but it reminded me how important it was to just challenge myself physically and mentally consistently. It's so easy to do the same thing over and over and over again every single day. We have these routines routines that we get stuck in, we're doing our work, we have our morning routine, you know, we do our regular thing on the weekends, whatever it is, and it's not stimulating mentally or physically. That's why number one, fitness is so important. I think it challenges you physically on the daily and then you're constantly growing and evolving from that challenge, but mentally too. So you're challenging yourself to get to the next level, to overcome your fears, to face your, you know, your stress and your anxiety and whatever is going on inside of your head and face it head on. Every single time I face something head on, as scary and as terrifying as it may be, I always improve after. So there's a couple of things for me that aren't as scary. So making financial decisions isn't super scary. I kind of just, you know, I like to invest and I feel like I have a good intuition and sense of what's gonna make the most sense and I'm not terrified of doing things like that. Um, but I am terrified of like physical danger and just adrenaline and, that kind of thing, that's really scary to me. Like roller coasters, I hate roller coasters. So scary. So things like that. But again, challenging yourself physically and mentally is super important. So comment below how you're challenging yourself physically and mentally this week. I would love to hear from you. It's been a while since I connected with you guys, but the next couple of videos, I'm going to be doing a few fun things, doing a little bit of traveling again next week or two. Yeah, super excited. Last but not least, you can officially sign up for the Ignite Your Fire Collective. I told my email list and Instagram about this, but YouTube have not let you guys know. It is a monthly membership club for hustlers, entrepreneurs, people that are wanting to make a full-time living doing what they love. And I'm gonna be doing a monthly coaching call with you guys, teaching you strategies, tactics, tools, tips, encouragement, all of these cool things that I usually teach my higher price group but I wanted to make it more accessible to those who can't afford a mentor right now. And I know you're just getting started and it's really important, I think, to not be so proud that you that you feel like you have to be self-made. One of the things for me is that I, I realize looking back in retrospect that I am not self-made. All of these other people, people that have inspired me, motivated me, and it just you know took me under their wing and helped me, have got me to where I am today in my business, in my life, on my social media game, on YouTube, just understanding everything. It's such a hard feat and you don't have to do it all alone. So that's what this group is all about. It's $50 a month and you can officially enroll below. So go ahead and click the link. I would love to see you there. Our first call is gonna be on March 20th and they're on after. So I'll see you guys inside and I'll catch you in the next video.